Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Barcast TV. We've got something special today for y'all. Another 5v5 scouting mission here. Today, instead of individual players, we're going to be looking at a specific team. This is four of the five players of Team Barcode. So, some big names here. Ragna, Malady, Jazz Cash, and LSR. So, a really strong team. I think the only guy we're missing here is... Don't really want to alt tab because this is the old engine, but there's a fifth player. Sorry about that. I'll get him here in a minute. Like I said, this is four of the five on white fire against maybe not the best team. We have four replays for you all today we're going to look at. So there's plenty of content here. I'm going to try my best to take a look at these guys, maybe individually how they like to play. And then if they have any kind of collective goals or projections we can see them doing so already we can see the co-op right they've all got their sliders down maybe not at the exact same place but they're playing with their sliders down same for e as well so pretty cool to see got malady on the high ground here opening air first jazz cash in that pocket position opening vehicle vehicle and then lsr in the far corner here going for core bots two cons and two crons can I keep it on their player view? This is cool. I like this. So if you're new here to the channel, welcome. This is Beyond All Reason, a free-to-play RTS. And this is Barcast TV. So we're really into analyzing stuff here, covering a lot of 1v1 content primarily, but we just so happen to be in this 585 tournament cycle. So that's what we're going to be kind of focusing on for the short term. If you're Coming back to the channel, welcome. Thanks, guys, for all the comments and likes you've been leaving me. Really appreciate it. And looking forward to making a lot more videos for you guys. So, got some uh, more guests coming on the channel, some more 1v1 casts planned, of course. So, stay tuned. There's a lot more stuff coming. So, back to the game. Melody opening up Bomber into Air Scout first. I'm wondering if there was a uh, alert there from this scout here into Transport. Yeah, Sal was calling AA, so he definitely got the alert for that. So, bomber first here out of Malady. Nothing too crazy out of LSR and Ragna. They're just opening up, you know, cons and construction, construction bots. So, first bombing run goes off there, gets maybe a couple of wind turbines. Yeah, all the wind there. Not a hit on this, so he might be able to get another runoff. Let's see. First AA shot goes off, dodges the AA. And gets the bombing runoff. Super clean. Wow. That's really nice control. I think this AA might actually take that out. So it's going to go down before getting a mech. So nice, nice amount of damage there. First transports out and then moves into this paralyzer drone production. I really like having the uh, support player using these. It makes this early game so much easier to handle with any kind of run buys. And for the rest of the game, you just... Hopefully have the threat of the paralyzer drone stopping run buys if you're you know on your micro. Like look at this incoming tank, scouted by Ragna, paralyzer drone sh show up. And you can come back in and clean those up. So no air as of yet from either player. So kind of free to roam around in this early game. First transport was shared to Jazz Cash. Wondering where he's gonna go with his commander. LSR just doing doing a great job expanding here. He's getting a, a forward exploiter. I like that positioning. Another LLT on the high ground here. Expanding with his commander. Being fairly aggressive, actually, with the comm. like to see that. He's got grunts patrolling around. This is after the patch. Ragnar's still in the main base with the commander. I'm going to pause here and just look at this. Ragnar's making this con, right? He's got two two cons, a couple of tanks, being really greedy with the build power. He's got two cons up here. Wow, so super greedy, actually. Jazz Cash has got two cons. Decent amount of wind. What are the... What is this? Four minutes into the game, 100,000 energy produced. Okay. 
and some more scouts, and then three more transports. Interesting formality. So just just trying to take stock of the position here. I really like the transport sharing meta personally. If you can just move these commanders around the map so quickly, really strong play. Might turn this on times two speed just to kind of speed things along here and see see what's what. And blow through these replays. I'm not sure how long this one is in particular. You know, kind of transitions just yet. The, the sliders make it really nice to uh, feed your air player. I think it's really awkward playing as like an isolated air. So with the sliders down, super cool to see that. Melody doing what he can. Oh, so I think, I think uh, Ragna shared those two cons with Malady. Did he? Yeah, there it is. Okay. 409. So I missed that, but we see them back here just finishing capping these mexes on the high ground and then uh, adding a scaling E in the back there. So pretty cool to see. Ragnar still in the main base. Getting out his... For finishing up his first construction turret there. 5 minutes and 30 seconds. Gets out a mine layer. Interesting. Uh, I've been trying to use this more in my play. They're super versatile. The beholders are fairly strong, honestly, if you place them right. And then the mines, of course, are really good. So a little bit of a scuffle here. I missed that. Let me pause and see what's going on. So it looks like Kota Konkot and Kierkegaard here are pushing in with some grunts and blitzes. The Paralyzer drones didn't want to take that on just because they're too low in number to just stop that whole attack. So they pulled back for a moment. We see Duck Viking posturing here on the left side. So saw Malady pulling those Paralyzer drones over. And look at this. These Paralyzer drones coming to the front line. LSR is going for this forward. The LSR is here to assist this forward T2 lap. Oh, wow. And it's going to go up pretty quick. I mean, they're not stalling on metal at the moment, so the Beamer turret here to stop the attack. Commander is going to degun the rest of the tanks. Paralyze the drone, shut it down, and it's like you have a quick forward lab and there's nothing you can do. So what is that? Seven minutes and ten seconds? Seven minutes. T2 lab is finished on the front line. Reconstruction turret's already there with a, with a con. And the mine layer is out, so really minimal defense here with units. It's like LSR is covering his boy Ragna here with some grunts. The mines are gonna... What do these mine shots look like? Let's... I mean, all the units are paralyzed, so what are you gonna do? Cleans it up really nice. But a healthy amount of grunts here, so... Really great coordination here between Ragna, LSR, and Malady to make sure that this 2-2 lab goes up. And Jazz Cash is kind of sitting comfortably over here on the right side, creeping into this position, trying to split the map. Look at all these grunts that are going to go down. It blitz is clean up. And slow, slow this back down. Going pretty fast. So we've got a run by attempt here on the left side from LSR. Wind is super low right now, so they're trying to fix their E issues. Maybe they should make some advanced solar collectors. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, Jaguars first out of this T2 lab, so I, I didn't catch this, sorry about that, but yeah, Jaguars are insane. Uh, really high movement speed, they've got anti-air baked into them, and they do splash damage? Like, I don't know. Units busted. You can take those back and get those repaired up if you're really so inclined. I think this game's kind of pretty much over. We've got a lot of root plays to look at, so... Wind is still going low. Malady's calling that out. A lot of wind turbines from all three of these guys. Where is the first T2 con going to come out? It's it's pretty cool to see the Jaguar production straight away. What was that? Five? One, two, three, four, five. Just you leveraging that tech advantage as best you can before moving into advanced con production. So one con into consoles even. So I really like this. Consoles are fantastic. It's got a lot of build power. They're quick. It's like an upgraded it's like an upgraded T1 con.
Paralyzer drones diving? I'm not sure what they're doing back here, frankly. I think Malady's realizing that, pulling those back. I don't know how those have, how those got sucked into that position. Where is this first con gonna go? Oh my goodness, look at this. Full metal? Oh, it's wind, right? Wind's at two, so the, like, the whole team is like almost floating metal. Yeah, 674 metal accessed. Kind of a bummer. I mean, you can make solars, guys. I mean, it's definitely a unit. It's kind of hard when you, you don't have that much build power in, in cons. Finally, wind's going to turn back on. And the first con's going to go to Malady, so pretty cool. Something to note is the Twitcher can actually make wind turbines. Consoles can't. Is there any other, like, T2... T2, um, like, combat builder. I'm not sure, combat engineer. Can't think of any, but yeah, just a no no difference there. I really like the Twitchers for scaling. It's really pretty cool, actually. They got the high movement speed and build power, so they can move and, and like, move and get those wind turbines up really cool. I've seen Shisato doing that. Making, like, six Twitchers and scaling, <laughs> scaling wind turbines. It's kind of wild. And then he'll reclaim his factory and, uh, just use one to make fiends. It's pretty cool. Back to this game, though. Where was I? Mine layer isn't laying any more mines. Just a 1-T2 con. Getting a fusion up in the back. So not even going for the T2. Oh, that's interesting. They have full metal, so there's no reason to upgrade the Nexus. It's more fixing the E, right? So getting up this fusion in the back line as far away as you can. Okay, 10, 11 minutes into the game. I think I might write that down. Let me bring up my notepad. Gonna take some notes. Oh, and there we go. We dropped the frames. But you know what? What a good opportunity to pause this and move into the next replay. So just trying to get a feel of how these guys like to play, what to expect, maybe some spawning positions. So let me take some quick notes on that. So we had uh, from left to right, LSR, Reg, Malady, and then Jack on Whitefire. Okay. So let me leave this replay, transition the scene. Gonna be fumbling around with this for a bit. Sorry guys, hopefully, I think that, yeah, that worked. We'll load into the next replay, Pawn Retreat. And get this scene to transition to our next. There we go. So, going to be doing some more of these scouting videos leading up to the qualifier and then the grand finals. So, if there's a team you guys would like to see replayed or reviewed, or if there's individual players you would like to see reviewed, Leave a comment. Let me know who 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 you want to see exposed, perhaps, or analyzed. So here is the next replay. We have Ragna, Malady, Jazz, Cash, and LSR spawning on Pawn Retreat. Malady in the back here again. I'm suspecting he's gonna go air first. Gonna put this on times two speed. Maybe turn up the music a little bit. see how these guys open so different teammates actually so let me pause here and show off who we're playing against so a little bit of an upgrade we've got Chisato, Lord Vader, Duck Viking and Flacca here on Pond Retreat so not the worst not not the worst 44 team to go up against but you know these, these guys are pretty strong players right Malady I've heard is like the best air player and came back to play this play in this tournament right i haven't seen him playing in a while so it's great to have some videos to analyze maybe uh something to do after the tournament is just specifically look at how he played air in some of the matches so a 12 wind speed map to me that's kind of like super close to being a solar map you can still scale some e 
I'm going to pause here and look at the open. So LSR going for bots again. Ragnar's going for armed vehicles. Jazz Cash going for core bots. And then Malady, of course, in the back core. And what goes for bomber first into air scout. Couple Shuri's. Interesting. No quick transports like the last game. Sorry for the zoom in and out so fast. So no anti-air just yet. He's gonna get a nice bombing run. Super clean micro. Look at this. Ooh, misses the shot there actually. I'm gonna move this back to one speed. So we see that one Shuri on the left side of the map. We see the rest of them being held in the center to defend the two players. Ragna opened two cons. Is moving forward with the commander. I don't like the unassisted lab, but maybe he'll move back and start assisting that. Really great radar placement here from Jazz Cash, who's expanding with. He's already has four cons out. This is a nice open. And the Shuris are coming out to be aggressive. What are they looking to do? I see. Maybe they're trying to snipe this uh, Resbot over here. No, they're just moving back. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what those are doing. I see the transports finally coming out. Those are being shared about. One transport going over to Ragno. We have a second one out. Two more scouts coming out. So nice, consistent use adding the scouts there. <laughs> you can just type that uh, anti-air bot. That would have been a wild. Where is this game at? Yeah, so the commander did move back to assist the lab. And Ragnar's kick <laughs> has five... Five cons queued up. So just came forward, capped of the max, added a radar and an LLT in this trip point, and then came back and made four cons. Well, and if we pause here and kind of analyze the situation, it works out. You know, it's it's a 4v4. It's a really large map. You have defender's advantage, but your air player, dedicated air, already has four Shuri's out. So maybe we'll see a better attack out of the opposing team because from the previous game, it's like they were getting that forward lab. The other team was trying to be aggressive and pressure it, right? But it's like the, the you know, these guys were too strong, right? They had the enough units, defenders advantage, and, and the sh with the Shuris made a big difference. Look at these paralyzer drones on both sides. Let's turn the sound down a bit. There's a lot of spam clicking going on. <laughs> Excuse me. So Khan being shared with the air player comes, scoops it up with his transport. Pretty cool. And he's just going to work on that geo in the high ground. Love to see that. And where are these four cons going? They're just adding on LLTs and these choke points here. Jazz Cash is... 1v1-ing Chisada, or maybe kind of 2v1-ing right now. We see Duck Vikings grunts in, over here. So, really kind of a hard matchup in some regard. Vader's in the center as well. So, it's going to be 2v1. Well, this could be 2v2, right? LSR versus Flacca, uh, Ragnar versus Lord Vader. But it's like this 2v1 situation on one of these sides, left and right, from Duck Viking. Because we have this dedicated air player. But, let's just pause and look at the statistics here. Metal produced... Uh, in favor of the blue team. Not quite splitting the map. That plateau is gone untaken. So I'd like to see a con dropped up there. At least it'd be a nice move. If you're, this isn't going to be the case in 5v5s, right? This, this is going to be occupied by a specific player. So Malady even moving his commander over to get this geo up. That's interesting. It's a 12 wind speed map. So excellent opportunity to uh, take this geo. Two transports out. Didn't share any of them quite yet. Just has paralyzer drones on one side. Jazz Cash finally capping these mexes on the high ground. I'd really like to see a con dropped off over there, but not the biggest deal. LSR trying to lock down this side of the map with his commander. A couple of pawns are going to sneak in, and Malady's already on top of it. 
don't think he's going to be able to get the kill on these neural unit. Yeah, he's going to pull the pull those back. So pretty interesting. And finally, we see some units from the front here from Ragnar. He's got some medium tanks showing up. A lot of LLTs being made all over the map. Getting out a couple of Shell Shockers and Janus. Medium tanks. And LSR on the other side of the map with the A Solar. I'd like to see that on the. Uh, it's getting an nice beefy, beefy E economy working. These uh, There's a lot of reclaim on this map too for energy. So, like. Resbots are kind of insane. What is that? 70,000, 100,000 energy. Just massive units from both sides. The Chisato versus Jazz Cash is going decently, I guess. A Dragon's Maw is here. Can forward construction turret with the repair. So this is how you stand up against the rocket bots, actually, or really leverage them. I guess it's both sides of the same coin, right? This extra build power here is so much healing healing DPS. I'm not sure, sure how to say that. Commander's right behind this LLT, which or a twin twin guard, which ate so many rockets. And that's just holding that line. Holding that position. Black Viking's going to step forward into a lot of medium tanks and Janus. That's not going to go out. Well. And like, look at this army sophistication from Ragna. Feels confident enough to get the T2 lab up again. So same same move from before. This forward T2 lab. Into Jaguar. So really like to see that. Flak is kind of winning on the left side. But if they can hold the center. I see a, I see a really strong opening right here. Right through Duck Viking. Into... Uh, into this back line from either player. So we'll see how this goes as soon as those Jaguars come out. How is Jisato doing on the right side? I think he's kind of winning this position. I see more rocket bots. Like, yeah, Jazz Cash has this kind of locked down. Got another twin guard turret up, but I don't see I don't see that like collapsing anytime soon. Hey Lassar is stepping forward with the commander. He saw an opportunity. He goes for it. Trades a little bit of health for uh a con and an exploder. That was a great, great little trade there. And the Jaguars are out, so. Gonna step on the position for a moment, then just uses the back away. Really great control from those Paralyzer drones. And we don't see an opening on the left side, so perhaps we see a move to the right. First. Khan is going to be shared to Malady again, and then it goes right to the Geo. So what is this? 9 minutes and 50 seconds? 10 minutes? I'm going to write this down. Excuse me. So, what is this? Pond Retreat. Uh, 10 minute. It's Advanced Geo. And then, <clears throat> from left to right... LSR rag. Okay. Oh, goodness. Uh, <laughs> I'll tab that at the replay. And I dropped to uh, five frames per second. I don't really want to restart this, but... We saw we saw the, the exact same thing, but very similar. Dedicated air player open to juries and transports. A little bit different... <sighs> sharing going on what was the first game right we shared we shared two cons with malady ragna did but it was on the high ground it was just these two expanding cons he had early game so but there was a definite timing where ragna just moves into five vehicle cons and it's pretty early and that's that's kind of scary build power scaling and maybe it's something to leverage in your own games if you end up finding this so let's let's move to the next replay actually i want to keep this as short as i can We're already at 24 minutes we have a game on dsdr let's get into this i'll change the obs here in a second
take a sip of water. So, gotta stay hydrated, guys. I don't know about y'all, but I'm pretty excited for that 5v5 tournament. I know the qualifiers are going to be this weekend. So, couldn't quite get out of it, auto qualify for the group. So, I gotta, we gotta grind our way through a qualifier to get in the tournament. So, here we are. Three of four. We're going to see Ragna, Malady, Jazz, Cash, and LSR once again on DSDR, another map in the pool. Can note these positions here, uh, LSR and Ragna spawning on the low ground here, and Malady kind of tucked away. I bet we'll see another dedicated air player. Jazz Cash opening arm bots, interesting. Malady's opening arm bots as well, so no air player just yet. LSR has got the arm vehicles. Same for Ragna. I wouldn't be surprised to see some early, uh, early Janus production from either of these guys. So bots on the high ground, vehicles on the low ground, already opening with up with these scouts here. They're just heading to the middle of the map. Not sharing E. I see LSR isn't sharing E, but he's got metal down. They're all sharing that. So two quick cons heading up to the high ground here. Naked expanding. Classic. Love this play. Look, um, God, this is really good, actually. So like Malady and Jazzcast have, have these quick mobile bots, right? Arm bots and can defend this flank here. So and then here in the center, of course, we have these two players to defend that. But notice the efficiency of it, right? So neither Jazz, Cash, or Malady have to worry about making cons or walking them down this plateau. You're going to use these quick vehicle cons to expand, naked expand rather, to these six mexes here. And then the, what is that, seven mexes over here. So really clean, really clean open. Maybe it sets LSR behind. See so Ragna even coming up to expand on this high ground. But he's got his teammate. He's got his teammate Ragnar here to help him defend. So, and we see just that these these really aggressive scouts trying to come in. There's already a few tanks. They all get cleaned up. Beautiful play. You have two more, maybe trying to sneak in here from Flaka, who's might get some damage actually. Yeah, he's gonna get a mech for his troubles. But I think the real defense was his high ground. Now we have three cons up here on the high ground, expanding and adding E for free. Jazz Cash has this forward commander here blocking the choke point. LSR's and Ragnar are, well, LSR's in the main base. Ragnar's expanding along these. I think this is a really tidy path to expand with the commander, right? It's just boom, 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 mexes, and you're gaining position on the middle of the map. So kind of maybe forced into that position. And both players doing a great job keeping their armies together. Turn the, turn the game speed down a little. Malady is hiding his pawns. Okay. Wondering where he's going to show those. Uh, energy storage? Yeah. And then he's moving out with his commander. Now we see these crunch moving for pawns. <laughs> Excuse me. See these pawns moving forward. Is he going to try and keep these hidden? Let's go to the player, player view. Okay. Malady even types. He's coming to the front line. This is a great spot for a radar right here on the high ground. I like the edge build out with the commander in that position. So he's just going to dive mid, it looks like, with these pawns. And all these tanks in the back. Look how many uh, blitzes here in the back. Defending that run by. We see a forward missile truck and some scouts. And then here comes this huge pawn attack. Jazz Cash getting up a second Dragon's Claw. I hate these units, honestly. They're, they're pretty busted, I think. Look at this pawn attack. So it's interesting he's doing this without vision. Uh, yeah, see, Duck Duck Viking just came into view there. So even losing the even losing the grunts to the pawns. This is a nice punctuated attack here. And we saw... Oh, look at... The, I'm going to pause. There's too much going on. So we see Commander here. The, we saw vision of Commander right here. So... Uh, LSR can just sweep right right between them. 
Actually, we don't know where orange's commander is. Excuse me. We see reds, we see yellows. We don't know where orange is. His, like that orange commander could be right here and just degun these blitzes. So let's take a look, see if that happens. But look how much damage is going to go on this main base. Two LLTs are up though, and a blitz in position, so maybe not. Oh my gosh, that was a crazy softy. I don't even know what detonated there, but killed all the pawns. But here's the follow up attack. 12 blitzes. I don't even know how many blitzes this is. So they're going to just plow through the grunts, go through the blitz, um, enemy blitzes. And it's just nothing but two LLTs to defend this. And yeah, all the wind turbines and energy are going to go down. So much damage. Duck Viking all, all the way here forward. Malady's commander somehow got it up on this high ground. Did he walk it over there? I think he did. Really nice to have that secured. And this run by still isn't got, done getting damage. Gonna make it all the way to this high ground. I think this is pretty much over here. I'm gonna pause it for a moment. Take a look at this game state. So we added a few energy converters and then just a bunch of wind turbines. Jazz Cash reclaimed his factory. Interesting. And added it got like this beaver turret. I wonder if he was feeding the whole time. I'm not sure if that would just went into these tanks in the uh, in the middle game. Or what, but... Yeah, I'm going to try... Well, I will have in the description a Google Drive link to all these games are going to be in there. So if you want to download these and take a look at yourself, those, those will be in the file for you. This run by is still getting damage on the high ground. Ragnar is going to be pushing this position with his commander. See the four Janus goes down. You let another sneeze coming on. Excuse me, guys. Duck Viking desperately trying to get a comm trade here, maybe. Ooh, excuse me. And Malady's Malady's back here with twenty one pawns against the Rockabout army of Chisato. So we'll have to see how well these trades. He's even got his forward century on here, so kind of memeing, I guess. You know, making all the units. A couple of resbots here in the back are getting their value. Some ticks even slipping into the back line at the perfect time just before this beamer turret gets up. It's an interesting beamer placement. Nice control here, splitting off a single grunt that's going to get taken out by this LLT. Nice positioning on that. Okay, I didn't even see that. Mally getting some D-guns off. Stepping forward. I really like this. Look at this army here. Jeez Louise, how do you stop this? Ragnar came through on the bottom, taking out all of Flacca's energy. I think this game is pretty much over, so I don't want to get too far into this. We have one more replay to look at. Interesting, interesting move here from Jazz Cash. So I think, I think they were just trying to win this low ground, right? Jazz Cash stopped all unit production there. Just got a few mexes and some wind turbines up before reclaiming the factory and giving it all to the teammates down here, right? Who have this huge vehicle army. Just so wild to see. That's so many blitzes here from LSR in the back. This is wild. So we'll have to see if this pays off. I'm going to speed this back up. Malady's commander has got cornered over here. Oh no, D-guns are good though. He's going to protect himself. Yeah, and he's going to stay alive. So he's trying to get this LOT up. The commander in the corner, don't come after me. You're going to get a D-gun to the face. Look at that. Yeah, so I don't think you're going to be able to take out this commander. And here come here comes Blue's army. Who do you take out? Well, Chisada, right? Duck Viking is going to step forward with his commander, blocking off this choke point. So what does that mean? Oh, we're just going to step around, guys. And take out your main bases again. It's like Ragna got counter-rated right there, but look at all these blitzes. Oh my gosh, taking out everything in the main base. Malady's fi commander finally goes down, but there's just nothing to stop this. Somehow Chisado even goes down. Didn't quite catch that. Maybe it was that beamer on the high ground.
And look at this uh, Blitz army taking out the main base here. So I think that's going to be it for this game. Even the medium tanks here from Ragna. Coming up to deal with Chisato's base even, so... Pretty wild to see all of this E is going down. And yeah, that's pretty that's pretty much game. So DEA is going to step forward with this commander. Take out a lot of these tanks, actually. So really nice D-guns. AFK there. Lightning turret's going to hold down the fort on the other side. And yeah, the enemy team taps out. So that's going to be game three. Uh, I'm going to make a quick note here. So what was it? Um... This is DSDR. It was a 4v4 and... Jazz Cash reclaimed factory to feed tank production on the bottom. I think he would have liked to have held uh, this position right here. To... Right, Jazz Cash, he just... Came forward, was making a couple of lightning turrets. I think he would have been perfectly happy just to hold hold that down, these two mexes with his commander, and then just feed all that into here. So he did a nice job, nice job stalling and backing up and buying buying the team on the low ground the time they needed to uh, build up this huge vehicle <laughs> vehicle economy. That was that was wild. So let's quit and move into the next replay. Nuclear winter. Seven minute game, so gonna be interesting. Let's queue this up, get the OBS running. See you guys in the fourth replay. So yeah, if you guys are still here and you haven't hit the like button, go ahead and do that. That'd be great. Appreciate you guys watching. I'm gonna take some more water here. Refill my coffee. This is a long one, boys. 37 minutes in. Let's have one more replay. This is a short replay, though. So, seven minutes. Pond retreat. Malady on the high ground. Jash Cash Ragna spawning next to each other. And LSR in this pocket position, kind of tucked away behind everything. So... I'm anticipating some kind of co op lab here in the center. Maybe not, though. LSR is not sharing the slider, actually. Maybe he's holding on to that. There it goes. So slider's finally down. We see that metal swap between all three of the players really quickly. Ragna caps two mexes, three wind turbines... Jazz Cash does the same, but moves into this vehicle lab. Yeah, Ragnos. Uh, just doing the co-op thing here. Um, and Malady on the high ground. Doing the same thing, just scaling E and then moving into a air lab start. This is wild. I love this. So, 4v4, dedicated air player, and a co-op lab in the center. Beautiful. What is LSR doing? Uh, he's doing a vehicle lab on the high ground here. Pretty cool. Maybe we'll see the same thing. Just the two cons coming through here, quickly expanding, and then ending up giving those two uh, Malady as the air player. So. One thing else I wanted to note was just the position on this LOT. Like, it's over here. The commander is standing here. So this is protected. That's protected. Jazz Cash is protecting this side. Perfect defense. And are going to be... What was that? Three scouts into con, con... Doing a fairly good job spending the metal. So they have four players, three labs, right? And then a bomber first. Out of Malady. LSR is going construction vehicle first. Expanding, it seems pretty natural. Ragnar sending one construction vehicle to the top here. Just have that third one that these mechs here in the top left that need to be taken. Early construction turret. Jazz Cash making an LT on this left side, so I'm thinking commanders are going to be moving out soon. Still have some metal to spend. And Bomber is out, so let me pause here. I would hate to have to restart. Let me write this down real fast. On some paper. 
and then I will make a note at the end of the video so I don't have to alt tab out of this and drop the frames. This is on an old engine, so it's kind of finicky on my machine. So what was that? Two, two, two oh seven bombered out. Two oh seven, two ten bomber in the scout move out. First construction turret is almost done. Wind kind of died down here. So we're working on getting some solar collectors out. I wonder if you see LSR even making the <laughs> stop making this like 90% wind turbine to get some whistler trucks out. Hmm. Okay, I'll write this down. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Comms move out of mid. All right. Sorry, guys. This is for my own edification, too. I'm just bringing you guys along with me, right? So I might end up playing these these fellas here in the next two weeks. So trying to be as prepared as I can. And into just missile trucks on repeat. That's wild. So maybe they just think that's really strong on this. We see one missile truck from LSR coming to defend his two cons, expanding on the high ground. What is that? Just another LLT here. Okay. Malady doing what he can to get some damage. No, or a single early tank, excuse me, snuck in somehow from uh, Jazz Cash, so... And they're just moving into Whistler's on repeat and moving forward into mid with the commanders. Naked expanding. This is pretty cool to see. They're, are they accessing E? I'll keep it to myself. Okay, okay. This is a strong start. I really like to see this. Let me move back up to 2x speed. This, this, this replay isn't that long. So LSR is finally feeling confident to move up off of the high ground here. He's got a single con assisting the factory. Couple of missile trucks to defend himself. <laughs> Who's Resbot's going to come back here? I have no idea. And there's just nothing to press into. Uh, Chisato moves into a commander that's not even there. I mean, there's Shuri's at the top of the hill if you are if you want to walk up there. But Malady's making transports now. So uh, 445 transports out. Okay. And once again, yeah, we have Shuri's, but that's different from the other two is there's fewer labs. I mean, as soon as I say that, Ragnar makes a Ford lab with the uh, Thug production. So Thug Whistler is going to be the unit composition with some Janus in the back. Shuri's doing what they can to clean up this run by attempt. Really cool. And Chisato's reinforcements are getting cut off here from Jazz Cash. So now the commander is isolated. Malady can be seen here, I think, on the radar yet. So it couldn't quite get the cloak off in time. I think he was just looking to trade. I, he would have been. I'm sure he would have been perfectly happy just to trade commanders here. But I wouldn't be surprised if some commanders get transported up to that high ground. Ragnus holding mid with thugs. Malady's commander just goes down. Couldn't quite catch that. But he traded comms, right? So now it's just thugs left over versus Shuri's. And here comes LSR's commander and more Shuri's. So perfect defense, really. Jazz Cash is now pressing into Chisato's main base. Ragnus won mid with just a bunch of thugs. And a quick construction turret. Okay, so I'm just going to write comp. It was... Cool, guys. So I think this is it. The other team is already kind of conceded. Hopefully you liked this. This was my expose or, you know, scouting on Team Yard Code. Too I couldn't get uh, all five of them participating, but I figured four of the five was enough to kind of get a feel for how they like to play and what their... Maybe not what their exact plans are going to be on specific maps, but more or less what they're capable of. So, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for commenting, liking the videos. Looking forward to making some more, and I'll see you guys in the next cast. Cheers.